Yo, what up? It's your boy Red. I'm review Spirited Away, the 2001 film by Studio Ghibli. Literally one of, probably the one I remember the most watching. I remember because a teacher in my music class put it on, and I was like, man, that's a good ass movie, you know. <laughs> And yeah, it's a great film about a family who gets spirited away in a spirit realm. They thought they were investigating some kind of abandoned amusement park. No, it turns out it's a place where spirits come and chill, basically. Um, a main character finds a bathhouse and her parents get turned into a pig. And the whole thing starts, right? She has to save her parents, figure out a way out of here. And she's just a kid. I don't know how old. Uh, probably 13, 14, I'm not sure. Actually, her age is 10 years old. I just read that. Anyways, uh, so she has to do all this by herself, right? Uh, she doesn't seem too strong, not very intelligent, but she gets a lot of help in the movie along the way from different characters, which are pretty great. Um, and you get to see, like, the beautiful surrounding of this bathhouse, all the different spirits that are there. Her, her, you know, she gets a job eventually, works there. It's really beautifully done and very, very romantic, actually. It has a very romantic setting. Um, and I think the whole movie is centered around love, right? Uh, love is the key, you know, love will... Love will... <laughs> long, I don't want to say that, but that uh, love will keep us together <laughs> anyways um it's a great film though with that being said great message here a yeah, great adventure for adults and kids this is a very colorful movie for kids to uh, keep their attention magical and then this is such a good story for adults as well still watching this i still enjoyed this film magical stuff like that um our main character chihiro or sen uh, depending on the film uh, depending when she gets her name or not um, she's, like I said, uh, 10 years old, right? Remember you being at 10? No, it's hard to remember that. You were naive, uh, impatient, scared at times. But yeah, she perceives, she moves beyond that, especially with the help of the people around her. And she goes on the adventure, right? Saving her parents, getting a job at 10, Jesus. And um, among other things, right? She uh, meets people and trusts them. I mean, even though people... Tell her not to trust certain individuals, she doesn't really listen and trust them anyways. I mean, that's the magic about being a kid and being stubborn, I guess, and loud. So, I mean, I forgot to say she's loud, right? Um, other characters include Haku and the Boiler Man and some other people. Haku, of course, is probably the main one. Uh, he helps her a lot. A lot of people tell him, don't trust that guy. That guy's a, a bum. He's a gangster, whatever you want to call him. Um, but, you know, their relationship forms, and he seems trustworthy. Even in the film I'm watching, this, I'm like, that's a trustworthy dude, right? Uh, Music-wise, wow. Music in this movie is legit. Like, the soundtrack is probably the best soundtrack I've heard in a film in a while. Um, just the, the, the piano playing, the instruments, and the afterwards. It's, it's a pretty good film all the way around. The scenery, oh my god the details and every little thing like this this picture here the details on the bowl details on the food is just crazy that you know at the time i was like man this is some they worked a lot on this background and i don't even know how they did it hours they spent on just the background the art you know damn this is some crazy stuff right um we get um like i said there's some turmoil and stuff overall though there's really no bad thing that's gonna happen i guess her parents getting eaten is is the antagonist <laughs> no i don't really there's no like legit bad guy in this movie you think it might be your baba you might think your sister there really isn't i think it's just a misunderstanding the whole time and uh, luckily it gets resolved at the end of the film and i enjoyed that um great film what would i give this one right hmm I would give this one an 8 out of 10. I enjoyed it, but you know, looking at it now, it really wasn't a big obstacle to overcome except for you know getting back to the human world. But other than that, thanks for watching. Hit that like, hit that sub, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.